told you before that UNL research shows grazing corn stalks after harvest can actually improve soybean or corn yields in subsequent years. Outside of grazing, there are other ways to harvest residues. Earlier this week, we talked with UNL beef cattle nutritionist Jim McDonald about some advanced technologies that could give producers another option for utilizing the feed source. Well, for those producers that have livestock available to them, we believe pretty strongly that the best use of residue uh, for livestock is to graze it. Uh, we've got a lot of data and a lot of experience uh, with both cows turned out grazing residue uh, and with supplementing calves uh, to be able to gain pound and three quarters to two pounds a gain uh, with some supplement out on residue. The great thing about grazing, we always want to talk about this, is that they, they eat the husk and the leaf. Uh, and those are the most digestible components uh, available out in the field. And so they're leaving the components that are not digestible, leaving that for cover, but removing the husk and the leaf. Some of that's going to blow away in the wintertime anyway. And so it's a really good system uh, to be able to graze the residue. For those producers who don't have access to livestock or, or that may not fit their system, um, but still have an interest in gaining some additional value, uh, we've looked at a, different, a couple of different harvesting technologies. Uh, that allow you to do principally the same thing that the animal is doing, uh, removing more of the husk and the leaf and less of the stem um, all in, in a single pass rather than a rake and bale system. What are some of those advanced ways you've been doing? We've looked at a couple of different technologies. Uh, one of those is the John Deere Hilco single pass system. Uh, in that system, the baler is attached directly to the back of the combine. Um, so all of the tailings coming out of the combine go directly into, into a baler. Uh, so you tend to get the leaf and the husk and the cob. That one has, tends to have a higher proportion of cob in it. The second technology that we've looked at is New Holland's uh, corn rower header. Uh, the, the version that we've evaluated is an eight row header, which has a system that cuts off the stem uh, two rows at a time. So you can have two, four, six, or eight rows of stem. Uh, it'll chop it up lay it down into a windrow, and then the tailings uh, behind the combine fall, off, fall down on that windrow, and you can come back behind that and bale that directly. One of the challenges that always comes with this is how much do you take off? To what extent do these technologies allow you to control that? The biggest thing that allows you to do is to leave the stem in the field. Um, how much you want to take off is, is variable depending on soil type, slope, all of those things. Um, but really, we believe and, and think we have good data to suggest that that taking the husk and the leaf out and some cob, if that comes along with it, uh, doesn't hurt yields long term uh, and, and is a very good cattle feed. And so there's a, there's a synergy there to be able to uh, take off those highly digestible components. These te technologies allow you to do that in a single pass. Can you tell how much, is going to, how much residue is going to be out there based on what your yield might be? Yeah, we've got a rule of thumb, um, 16 pounds of husk and leaf per bushel of corn produced. And from a grazing standpoint, our grazing recommendation is to take half of that. So we, from a forage al allowance, we allow eight pounds of forage per bushel of corn produced. Uh, once you get up into to high yielding corn fields, 200, 250 plus uh, bushel corn, uh, there's probably some advantage in terms of subsequent soybean yield or subsequent corn yield in removing some of that residue. And so by leaving the stem taking off the husk and the leaf, we think that's a pretty good system that meets both the agronomic needs and the livestock needs. The 2015 Beef Cattle Report from Nebraska Extension further describes the effect of corn residue removal on crop yields. We'll link to that information on the Market Journal website.